everybody, a big round of applause for Ed, David, and Christy for being so funny. And how about a big round of applause for our sound tech, Lance, for showing how funny he is by bringing me up to Dude Looks Like a Lady. <laughs> I shouldn't complain. Last night it was the Davy Shark song. <laughs> the airlines lost my luggage, so I'd like to thank Christy for lending me one of her outfits. <laughs> and for trading voices with me. <laughs> I love Christy's voice. We like to go drinking together just to mess with the bartender's head. <laughs> what would you like, miss? I'll have the scotch on the rocks. What about you, sir? Do you have any strawberry lemonade? <laughs> I am excited to be here. One of the great things about having a comedy special that's been seen by 10 million people is you never know who your fans are until you meet them. Today, I met a new fan that I never thought would be in my demographic. He goes, yo, my man, you want funny-ass mofo up in this BG. Your comedy special was off the hook, son. You are a punchline pimp player. You gonna be hooking up with all the hoes in Sin City for shizzle. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta tell you, in all my years of doing comedy, that has to be the nicest thing a 13-year-old white boy has ever seen. <laughs> Last time I went to Office Depot, I asked one of the uh, stock boys where the ink cartridges were, and he said, can't you see I'm busy? So I say, can't you see I'm Chad from the regional office? He goes, oh, Chad, I'm so sorry, what can I do for you? I go, you can get me two of this number ink cartridge, charge it to the store account, and as a thank you, take the rest of the day off with pay. <laughs> He goes, oh, Chad, you rock, bro. How am I ever going to thank? I go, don't worry, you'll have plenty of time to thank me tomorrow. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for that smattering of applause. Thank you so much. <laughs> Kanye West clapped harder for Taylor Swift, but thank you just the same. <laughs> The reason why some young people don't take their job seriously is they don't know how hard it might be when they're older to find a job. When you're my age, you can interview for a job that pays $8 an hour. No act as if they're offering you the opportunity of a lifetime. <laughs> so, Jeffrey, what makes you think you have what it takes to become a valued member of the Domino's team? <laughs> Well, you know, Todd, I figure being unemployed in my 50s makes me feel like a loser. Why not slap a lighted pizza sun on my car and make it a fish? <laughs> I know I'm Domino's material. You know I'm Domino's material. But gosh dang it, let's show the world. <laughs> Have you ever interviewed for a job and the person interviewing you is literally half your age? <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? You mean after the colonoscopy? <laughs> I see myself checking back in with you to see if your car insurance has gone down yet. <laughs> liberty, liberty, liberty. <laughs> As much as I hate people who phone in it at work, I also hate people who lay it on too thick at work. I stopped at my local Toyota dealership to check out this Dodge Challenger they had on the used lot, and this guy was like, you know, he was trying way too hard. Well, hey, Chief, what do I have to do to get you to drive home in a new car today? I was like, I don't know, go drop a deuce and leave the keys on your desk? <laughs> Rephrase that, Chief. <laughs> what do I have to do to get you to buy a new car today? Oh, the only thing you can do is skip the credit check and be my co-signer. <laughs> this guy looked at my 
my Toyota Corolla and said, hey, buddy, we need to get you into a Camry because, you know, Toyotas are chick magnets. I was like, yeah, beautiful women keep hopping in my backseat thinking I'm their Uber driver. <laughs> are you Gustavo? I am now. <laughs> well, buckle up because this is going to be one heck of a one-star ride, sister. <laughs> a car you know the best thing about buying a car it's kind of fun because they'll spend all afternoon convincing you that the car you're looking at it is so awesome that you have to buy it today before someone else does and then as soon as you say yes let's do this they'll spend the rest of the evening convincing that that same car is such a lemon that you also have to buy the extended warranty <laughs> trying to get a woman back to your place by telling her what a nice guy you are and then when she goes okay let's go you say you might want to bring some pepper spray just in case <laughs> if you don't have any I can sell you some <laughs>